Hi guys, welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the five things that I love about selling on Amazon, but also the five things that I don't like about selling on Amazon. So if that interests you, stay tuned. Hi, my name's Simon. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller here in the UK, and I've been selling on Amazon now for about two years. And over those two years, I've come to love and hate a few things about selling on Amazon, and we're going to go through those now. So the first thing that I love about Amazon is the freedom it gives you. Now, I'm a full-time Amazon seller, and when you run your own business, you realize that you become your own boss, and you get all the freedom in the world, basically. Um, and that is the best thing about running your own business, whether it's an Amazon business or any business, is that you get the freedom to do and choose what you want to do. Now, obviously, if you want to actually make a living out of this and actually, you know, make your business succeed, you need to be willing to put the work in. And oftentimes you end up working way more often than you would for a normal job. However, if you want a day off or a week off or just want to pop out and grab some lunch for a few hours or do whatever you want, you have that freedom basically. Or if you want to go and travel the world and do this whole thing remotely, you have that ability. You don't have to ask permission from anyone to do this. So for me, that is the biggest uh, benefit of having your own business and selling on Amazon is you can do this from anywhere in the world. As long as you've got good systems in place, you've got prep center set up, you know exactly what you're doing. You can do this from any part of the world as long as you've got internet access and a laptop. And yeah, how great is that basically? So, you know, I uh, can't complain about that one. So that's the biggest benefit, I think, in my opinion. Now, the second one is the amount of money you can make, the profit. So, you know, right now I've scaled my business to the point where I'm making around £10,000 a month, which is, you know, £120,000 a year. Now, admittedly, that is before some expenses and taxes and stuff. You know, let's knock off 20000 for uh, expenses. So we're taking it to about 100000 And obviously, you've got to pay tax on that. But, you know, it's still a pretty good wage for working for yourself. And the great thing as well is this thing is just scaling up um, over time. But, yeah, that is the like, the second thing. It's just like there's a huge amount of opportunity and a huge amount of profit to be made on Amazon. And that is probably the, the the second best benefit of Amazon, really. So, you know, you can replace your full time income if you want. You know, it might take a little while to get to that point um, selling on Amazon. But if that's something you want to do, then you can absolutely do that. Now, the third one is a little bit of a segue on from the second one, and that is the scalability of Amazon. Now, obviously, Amazon is a multi billion dollar platform, multi billion euro, pound, dollar, whatever platform. And they have millions and millions of customers. So scalability is something that Amazon offer you. Now, you can go out there and you can start your own Shopify store selling whatever you want. And, you know, you'll find you have no fees or very few fees and the profits could be higher, like per item. However, you run into one problem. You don't have access to any customers. You have to pay to get those customers to come to your site and then obviously trust your, you know, your, your platform. Then you have to ship the items and all that kind of stuff. You know, if you do that, there's going to be a limit on how many customers you can get, how many orders you can fulfill yourself, unless you start hiring staff and get a warehouse and things like that. Well, with Amazon, all that's taken care of. The customers are already there. They've already got a, uh, a well-trusted website, you know, that millions of customers use every day and trust. Um, loads of people have got Amazon Prime. And, you know, it's just unlimited scalability available and you can sell a million items a day if you wanted to. And Amazon have the ability to fulfill that for you throughout all, you know, with their fulfillment network, all their warehouses, all their employees, even the logistics system. You know, they've got their own delivery drivers now, delivery vans, um, all that is available. And that's not only available in just the UK, it's available all over the world. So there's nothing stopping you scaling your business into Europe or America or Australia or Japan. The world is your oyster, basically. So, you know, you have unlimited scalability. The, the sky literally is the limit with Amazon and you're never going to outgrow it. You'll just find basically as you do more Amazon, the one thing that holds you back is the amount of time you've got and also mainly the capital that you've got to put into the business. So it's just a, it's a slow growth thing, but you can scale as much as you want. And there are companies out there that do like billions of dollars of revenue um, on Amazon as third party sellers. So yeah, sky is the absolute limit. And that is a great benefit of Amazon. So the fourth one is related to sort of discord groups and stuff is, and that is basically the community. I think Amazon has got a really nice community around it in general. They can be quite secretive, um, which can be a little bit uh, annoying at times, but overall everyone is kind of working towards the same goal. 
everyone's trying to better themselves. Everyone's trying to make money on there. Everyone's trying to just get a side hustle going or a full time income. And it's just nice to chat to like minded people, people who are in a sort of a similar mindset to you, very positive, very um, entrepreneurial. And, you know, it's just great to chat to those kind of people. And, you know, if you want to be successful in life, you should, you know, surround yourself with successful people. And I'm a big believer of that. And, you know, a great way to do that is using a Discord group. Like, I don't know, Mental Picks, for example, is a great one. Link in description for that if you want to join that Discord group. Or you can join my free Discord group. Again, link in description, you know. That's a great community of people. We just hang out, ask questions, help each other. And, you know, it's a, it's a great place to join. So if you guys want to get into Amazon, check out my link in the description for my free discord the fifth thing that i love about amazon is that it's a great gateway into other businesses now amazon essentially is kind of like running a business on easy mode in a way because you don't have to find customers and you'll find that running a business is um, very difficult for multiple reasons but one of those reasons is finding customers as i mentioned in the previous one you know, with a Shopify store, whatever kind of store you want to do, you need to get customers, you need to get customers to trust you. Well, you don't need to do that on Amazon. Um, So it's a great gateway to getting into business. And you can start off, and this is quite a a normal way that people start businesses, is they start into Amazon, and then they get the taste, the bug of business. They make really fast money and good money on Amazon. But fine, maybe, you know, they can't scale it as much as they want, or they don't want to push Amazon to the limits. And then they transition into another business, maybe related to Amazon or maybe totally unrelated. But it gives them that sort of bug, that entrepreneurial bug to then go out and venture into other businesses with a bunch of business experience they can take under their wings and go on to those new businesses. So, yeah, I think it's a great gateway business into other businesses. And you can you can be someone who you know carries on doing Amazon for the next 10, 15, 20 years. Or you can be someone who just does it for two or three years and then sees other opportunities and uses the money that they've made from Amazon and puts into other businesses. So, you know, great get, uh, gateway business, basically, as far as I'm concerned. Now, before we go on to the five negatives, I want to just mention my sponsor, Profit Protector Pro. Now, I've been using uh, Profit Protector Pro now for about eight weeks, two months or so, and it's made me an extra, as you can see on the screen here, £1,900 profit. And this is a you know 1900 pound profit above what the buy box. So that's the thing I love about Profit Tech Pro is that basically, depending on which strategy you choose, they will try and basically push the price of your items above the buy box um, or what of the minimum basically and see if you're able to get a sale above what the minimum price is and what the people have for their buy box. So, and that's what that's tracking essentially here. And they've got a bunch of different algorithmic strategies as well. Um, as you can see, I'm showing you here now. And you can choose the correct strategy for whatever you know, listing you have. So it's a really good repricer, guys. I've been using it. And I love it. And that's why I'm recommending it to you guys. So, you know, check it out. Link in description below. And yeah, let me know how you get on with it. So let's move on to the negatives, the things I hate about Amazon. And the first one is, and the biggest one is returns. Returns are a nightmare. And, you know, we were just we were discussing returns in my free Discord group and saying some people refer it to as a death pile. And essentially what this is, is all the returns you get from customers and they end up piling up in your home and your warehouse, your prep center, whatever. You don't deal with them and they pile up and essentially that's money that's just sat there not being used. Um, and obviously if it gets too big, then in theory, you've got a lot of your, you know, capital tied up in that in those returns. So, you know, and unfortunately with Amazon, uh, one of the benefits of Amazon for customers is that they have very lenient return policies. And that's why a lot of people order from Amazon. But the downside for Amazon sellers is that obviously we get returns and sometimes the returns come back and they're fine, but other times they've been used, they've been trashed, they've been damaged. And unfortunately, you have to take the hit on that. So make sure you factor that into your profit margins. And that's why we always say, you know, a minimum of 30% ROI in profit, but ideally much more. So you can kind of factor in these losses that happen with returns. And then you have to deal with them as well, figure out whether you're going to return that to Amazon in terms of like selling as used or whether you're going to eBay them or donate them or liquidate them. You know, there's a whole variety of different options. So I did a whole video about how I deal with my returns and I'll link it up here or you can check out the rest of my channel to find it. Uh, But yeah, it can be a pain. Now, the second negative of selling on Amazon is VAT. Now, being VAT registered isn't something to be too scared about. 
is actually shows a, it's a good thing because it shows that your business is growing. You've gone past that ninety thousand pound threshold now, and hopefully you're making some good money. The obviously downside to VAT is all the paperwork and the admin that you have to do. So every quarter you basically have to do a VAT return and you have to get invoices for every single purchase that you've done and give that to your accountant and obviously that gets sent off to HMRC and it basically is just a huge admin headache and especially with us Amazon sellers doing that online arbitrage retail arbitrage you know we have thousands of thousands of invoices to submit every single quarter and it's just a big admin headache and it takes a lot of time and effort so you need to get an accountant you know you can't really do this without an accountant and you know you can get a, a, a virtual assistant to do admin for you as well but even with all that, you're still going to have to do some legwork, chasing invoices and reconciling stuff. It's just a bit of a pain. So that's the downside. And obviously paying the VAT sucks as well. Um, but it's got to be done. You can't avoid the taxes. Uh, it's just more the admin that's the, the pain, really. Now, the third negative for me, although some of people may think of this as a positive, I don't know. But that is prep and prepping items yourself. Uh, when I, you know, I've been doing prep now for about sort of two years now, um, all throughout my Amazon career. I have passed some time, some of it off onto prep centers at times and bought it back in house just to save some money. But I've gotten to the point now where I actually despise doing prep. It just bores me and it's a low sort of, it's a very tedious task at times and just is very boring. And for me, I just absolutely despise doing prep now. Even the most basic amount of prep, um, I'm just like, I procrastinate on it now because I just don't enjoy it. So for me, that's a big negative now. And I've passed pretty much all of my stuff now onto a prep center just because I don't want to deal with it anymore. And I'd rather just spend my time doing other things. So some people enjoy prep, but for me, it's not a good thing. The fourth negative is sometimes it's really hard to source items and you go through these kind of like lead dry spells um, and you're working hard sourcing for products and you just can't find anything. And it's just understanding, I guess, that, you know, with Amazon, that there are it, it, with, like with everything in life, there are cycles and there are ebbs and flows. And sometimes you'll be going and sourcing for an hour and you'll find 10 leads and sometimes you'll source for 10 hours and find no leads. It's just the way that things it you know the way things are basically. Are there any sales on? What's going on in the market? All that kind of stuff, you know. So it's um, what season it is. So yeah, it just sucks sometimes when you put the work into source and you just don't find anything, and you get used to it. But it does kind of like suck that you can't find leads all the time, and or if you find a lead that tanks as well. So you know, I guess it's another sort of bonus uh, negative there that. You find a good lead, you think it's a great lead, and it just ends up tanking. So yeah, that's a, a bit of a, a sucky one, but it happens, you get used to it, but still a bit of a negative anyway. Finally, the final negative of selling on Amazon is dealing with Amazon themselves. Amazon, for all the opportunity they offer us, or you know, all the riches we can make on their website, they can be an absolute pain to deal with. Their customer service is really quite poor. Um, oftentimes, you know, you'll ask a question or raise a case and you'll get absolute nonsense back from them. They don't even know what's going on, not reading the question, just giving you automated responses and just dealing with Amazon themselves can be a real pain. And I'm running through some issues right now with, uh, perfumes that have been blocked because of a certain ingredient that's allegedly in these perfumes. Um, I obviously submit the uh, ingredients to them saying it's not in there and they're just saying, nah, we're not going to re reinstate that listing. It's just kind of just, you know, it uh, can be a nightmare basically dealing with Amazon at times. And I think the other, other thing as well, not just the seller support, but that website's been around for decades now. And it's just like, it's, it's you know, got, it's been built on over decades of, you know, of time. It's, you know, they've been building software on top of software on top of software. And, you know, it can be quite glitchy at times and there can be things that go wrong. And it's very difficult to get them resolved because seller support don't know how to deal with it. And, you know, to be honest, probably not many people in the con in the company actually know what had gone wrong so you know with that software so yes yeah, so that's the only problem with having like very old legacy software that you build on top of is sometimes you end up with these weird little bugs that no one can fix anyway guys hopefully you found that interesting those are sort of my five positives and five negatives of selling on amazon you know don't want to be too negative. Overall, it's a very positive thing, so on Amazon, but there are obviously downsides. Just like with anything in life, there's always the, the good things and the bad things. So, you know, I want this to be a positive video. You should sell on Amazon, guys. You should join my free Discord, link in description. You know, if you do start selling on Amazon, use Prop Protector Pro as a repricer. It's the best one out there, as, my, as far as I'm concerned. 
And yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as well. Really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one.